Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I thought I was Marshall. Who are you? I think we need to go on a quest to find out. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about pretties for your face and if you watch our vlogs I will unpack these items as I get them in the mail so you have probably already seen me talk about them but I wanted to do a formal video to bring the last two palettes and some really fun things that we've been working on to you. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, some highlighters that I had purchased from her. Um, I got this Z palette for Christmas. I used something from Ulta like credits to put it in because this is the second palette full of her products that I needed to get a house for. So the two things are these two highlights right here. Um, what she does do is if you are kind of similar to like how we do it at Zany Laney, um, I think I might have gotten the idea from her more, more than likely, but, um, the, if you're a top seller in, in her affiliate program, you have the opportunity to create either an eyeshadow or a highlighter with her. So these two highlighters were created through that program. This one right here is called I do what I want with many A's. Um, and it is created by Kara, who is a friend of mine and also a rep for me. Um, and she created this color. And this color, can, you can see how dark purple it is, but when it comes to your face, it is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. If you want that, like, more of a, like, deeper highlight look. This one right here is the one that I created last month. It's called Treat Yourself because I wanted it to be uh, very similar to the treat yourself scent that we created because I like to I really like to connect and collab with um, other people so I can cross promote this highlight is what I'm wearing right now it is a rose gold with streaks of like a lavender in it and I will hold both of those up so you can see what they look like it they really are very gorgeous um, and a big pans as well <laughs> You're never going to run out of this. Those are really big pants. You're never going to run out. This is also a blush from her. I'm wearing that today. And I believe it's called Bashful. It's the only blush I have, but I felt like I needed one. So I'm wearing that as well. I like the glow it gives. It really mm -hmm. just makes me feel like I'm glowing from the inside. So, Marshall, what do you think? Now that you've seen this highlighter that we were talking about up close, what do you think of that? It's really interesting, and I like how the, the shimmer is what actually makes it into a rose gold, because it seems like it's actually more of a blush with a lavender in it, yes. and then you add in that, that shimmer, which makes the, the blush turn into a rose gold, mm -hmm. which is a really interesting effect. So you can buy both of those on her site. Um, I do have a code to get 20% off if you use Laney, so we just look for that down below, um, but those are the highlighters. I realized I didn't talk about the palette she came out with around Christmas time in a video like this. This is the Now and Forever palette based on Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> yes. This is probably my, one of my new favorite palettes from her. I still love the Hamilton palette a lot, but I really love the colors in this, like, so much. Because the way you can use it is great. You can take this matte brown and just put it all over your primer. Then you can put the pink and the orange in the crease, the purple on the lid, and then this white can just be like an inner corner highlight or whatever. So good. Um, the names of this... I have to read them this way. Marshall can read them. We're going to go from the dark, the light color to the darkest color. Okay, so you have Zero, Oogie, Pumpkin King, Sally, and Mare. What do you think about this palette? It's got a nice... It's got a nice primary to it. it it's what shimmer it has is actually somewhat limited and it's mostly to those characters that would shimmer a little bit more yes i also kind of like how uh, what what's storing the the pigment in it almost feels like canvas rag dolly a little bit from the look of it from mm. what i'm seeing which fits in with those characters yeah definitely I, what i really do like about this palette in general is that i think she really thought about how the palette was going to be used because the matte and this this is kind of like a satin it's not really a shimmer this one's more of a shimmer and this one's more of a satin but I, the way that these are used if you want to use them in the crease it's not going to be like glitter in the crease but it still has that kind of shine and then I just think that, that that each shade definitely has its own purpose if you need that, but yet you can also take them all and just do whatever you want, and it still works. That's why I think this palette is just 
probably her best palette. You can still get this. I highly recommend. Get this one in Hamilton. You you will not be sorry <laughs> if you get these, okay? Um, I'm, I'm just super excited because she comes out with a lot of really great themes. Um, you're you're going to be excited about what she comes out with soon, too. Yeah. This one is called Thank You for Being a Friend. It is based on Golden Girls, and it's also very special to Marshall. Why? Because I did the art. Uh, lately, I've been starting to work with her, uh, do some of the artwork for her covers, um, just so that she has she doesn't have to do all of them. But also, she's liked some of the artwork that I've produced for Zany Laney. Mm -hmm. so. um, the, I, I pay for all of my own product that I receive from her, even though I am an affiliate. The only thing I got free was the highlight I created with her because it was like a perk for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm serious, guys. I sp Every time she comes out with a new palette, I get it. Not just so that I can promote it, but also because I wear them. And if, you know, I have something that maybe I don't like a palette as much as another, but I, and I try to pare down my palettes so I don't have 20 million of them, I always make sure they go to a good home. I have plenty of friends who are willing to take it off my hand. So I, there's something for everyone mm -hmm. in the palette world for prettiest for your face. So this one is based on Golden Girls. Now this one surprised me a little bit, and I think I talked about this a little in my vlog, that this palette reminded me so much of her whatever palette, but in the opposite way. It was like it was it was a match for all the shade range is. For example, there was a, a yellow in that one, there was a pink in that one, there was a blue in that one. But it was like the complete opposite of finishes. So like where there might be a matte in this one, there was a shimmer in that one in the same range. So technically you could purchase the whatever palette and have it be like a sister palette to this one. Or you could just decide I didn't get the whatever, I can get this one instead or vice versa. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually wearing it on my lids and I'm going to tell you it is a lot more subtle than it looks like here. This, like, if, if you look in comparison, this is a really, like, kapow in your face colors, and it comes off that way on the lid. This one, you're gonna look at it and say, oh my gosh, yellow? I'm not sure about that. Or this blue? I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull that off. You can tell on my face, it is very subtle, but you can still see the colors. What I did was I took this yellow, and I put it in the crease. Actually, no, I took the yellow and I put it all over my lid, like just mm -hmm. all over. Then I used the pink in the crease. I used this color right here, like in the in this outside part. You can see there's a little bit coming down here. This is more of like a brown, like a light brown shimmer, glitter shade, almost taupey. And I used that color right here. And then this one right here I actually used in the waterline a little bit. So I used every part of it. My only complaint on this palette is that these two colors are a little too similar for me. This is like more of a silvery gold and this one's more of a taupey. It's a little too similar in the same palette, but if you use it together, it actually is very, very pretty. So I, I see where her thought process is for going. My personal preference just is that these might be a little bit too close. But this should not deter you from purchasing this palette at all. So let's talk about the shade colors. Marshall. Okay, let me make sure that I've got it. Yep. That, that is that's... That's that one. Okay, so that's Pussycat. That's Sicily. St. Olaf. Southern Belle. And... Zbornak. Zbornak? That's the last name of one of them. I haven't seen Golden Girls in forever. I, I'm gonna be honest, I've never actually watched Golden Girls. The only stuff that I know is the little research I did to do the artwork. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, that is my review of that. Um, you just know I'm honest in what I say. It doesn't matter if I'm an affiliate for somebody. I will give you my honest opinion of what I think about their products. That's not to say that these are bad products, because they are not bad products at all. They are fantastic products. It's just a color scheme. And some colors work on some people, and some people have a preference for color. My preferences happen to be berry tones, sunsets, golds, rose golds, silvers, like those kind of things together. I'm very berries. That's very me. Very nice. um, so this is out of my comfort zone, but I like trying to make it work. Okay, so if that makes sense. Exactly. And you see exactly that when I'm saying that this is my favorite palette. Purples and, purples and pinks. Purples and pinks. It's all about, it's all about the purples and pinks. And even this orange, I was a little afraid of. But then I started using it. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, 
Anyway, so that is a pretty for your face. I cannot wait to bring you what is happening next. Her next collection has me so excited. You're working with her on this as well, right? Yes, I am. I'm not yes. sure if she's ready to talk about it. I, I think but. she has kind of said what the theme is going to be. If you lurk in her Facebook group or on her Instagram, mm -hmm. you will see it. Oh, we're not going to tell you what it is. You can go find that information for yourself until she officially launches it. But I am so excited for it. And then... Because when, have... when I did the artwork for it, I did two different versions. Yes. And she's like, I don't know which one I like more. And I'm like... You could do variants, like they've done with some of ours. Yes. And she's like, I might. Maybe. She might be doing that. And then we're going to be collabing with her on a scent in July. I want to say in July we're doing a collab with her, so keep yeah. your eyes out for that as well. So excited. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.